Hi friends, welcome to the part 7 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will work on seeding the dummy data that we have here in the four JSON files. So for that, I'm going to create a new JavaScript file at the root and we'll name, is, name it as seeddata.js. Okay? And I'm going to borrow few code or few imports from the routes file. First one will be the uh, not here the app.js file. Let's import, let's copy the .env and put it here. I'll also need the file system. This is the uh, inbuilt package that comes with Node. We will use this to read the files okay, from the file system. Next, there is a package to uh, color the output in that we see in the console and that is known as colors so you need to use this as your dependency okay and also we will import the database so copy yeah first of all let's load environmental variables using the dot env uh, dot config function so you can also copy the function from here let's do that to save some time next is uh, load the models models so I'll use the product model here so for that we go here copy this placed it here okay and this is at the root of the uh, project so make sure you use the single dot here okay so we have only one model here next is connect to mongo database for that we'll use db dot then that's it and next we will do is read the JSON files and the way we do that do it is using the FS uh, or file system variable here okay so we'll create a, va a variable with the name of products to store the data and we will use FS dot read file sync okay so this takes the path of your uh, file where the file is located. Okay, so I'll, I'll use the back text so that I can use uh, dollar and the variable or the ES6 functionality basically. So I can put some variables here. And as you know, I'll use the turn name. We already used it in our app.js file when we configured the static path. If you remember, where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay are showing here let's quickly do that express uh, static path uh, join All right so somehow it got missed path okay so where is it uh, here app.use express static path dot join third name comma public I don't know how it got missed uh, there we go so this variable underscore underscore third name it points to the directory where this file is present or wherever this is called so I'm calling this in C data so the, the directory will be my root directory that's node api okay and to that i want to uh, concatenate underscore seed data slash products dot json okay that's my json file name here and the next parameter is the uh, format, I guess uh, we are using UTF-8 here. That's known as coalition sometimes. 
and once you get this so this will be let me just show you uh, console log products okay then go to the terminal and stop the server and I'll use node seed data here you see this is giving us the sample data in an array okay but this is not in JSON uh, I mean this is in JSON we need to parse it okay so this is a stringified version so what we need to do is wrap the entire statement with JSON dot parse so once I do this okay let me clear the buffer and, and save changes so now you see the strings have been removed from the uh, keys okay so now we have a object here okay we can work on it so the next step is to import sample data in db for that i'm going to create a constant that will be a arrow function it will be an async arrow function of course and here i'll use a try and catch block because, because we will be using a wait okay so if anything goes wrong it will be handled in this catch block so let's write the catch block catch block first so i'll simply log it to the in the console okay and here in the try i'll go to my uh, product model and use the create method and what i want to create is this list of products or array of products see you see this is an array of products okay so once that is done successfully i want to log something in the console that says data successfully imported and the way you uh, choose a color is using a dot and then, then the color name so you have lots of color here as you can see you can even change the background as well so i'll use green that means everything is okay and i'll use the inverse so it will be a uh, inverse color so i'll have a background which is which will have a good contrast okay so now after this is done so since i only have one uh, one sample data right now one one product model okay so i'll only use one statement here later on we can add multiple well, let's let's do that because we don't have any models right so i can't use the categories or all orders data so we have to create the models first then only we can write the statement so okay so next is uh, a section that will help us to delete the data from db again it will be a function an arrow function async arrow function and I'll copy the body here. So instead of create, I'll use the delete many method here. Okay, so data successfully deleted, and this will be red. red. All right. And that is done i'll use the process dot exit to exit the process and we'll do it here as well uh, let's put it here after the console log yeah and if anything goes wrong it will be handled in the uh, catch block here so now we need to define a condition that which function should be called and to do that we are going to use a special uh, what do you call it, property of the process object here that is this arg 
v uh, at property okay so if you go to the internet so this has got first so let me just show you console log process dot rv what does it have so if I save the changes go back here node uh, c data okay so you see this array this is your process dot arc v uh, array so it has the uh, path to your node executable and the path to your file where it is called so this, are, this is the first entry or the zeroth element and this is the first element okay or, or second element uh, with the index of one in terms of arrays so if i go here and put minus i you see i get it here in the array so this is the third element with index 2 okay so i can use this functionality here and put some conditions so the way i will do it is using an if statement so i'll check for process.rv and the second element if that is equals to minus i that means i stands for installation and else if process or you can let's let's use a switch switch block here uh, switch no let's let's stick with if statement so arc v second is equals to hyphen d for deletion so we will call the delete data method and here we'll uh, use the import data okay and since both are async functions you need to attach this then block although we are not doing anything here just attach it there all right so you see everything is done here uh, let's see if this works or not so first of all i'm gonna delete oops everything from the database so right now i only have one document with one collect uh, one collection with one document inside it that's a products collection so i'm going to hit t and hit enter okay, it says data successfully deleted and if you go back to, Mo to my mongodb compass and refresh it it says this collection has no data perfect now let's go back and put it as i so it says data successfully imported go back fresh perfect we have all our products imported here and since you see we have eight eight products in that file so we have the document count as eight and since we are only uh, using one model right now that's the product model so we only got the products uh, data here later on we will simply keep on adding new models here and with new imports okay so that will that will automatically import the uh, respective dummy data from these files so i hope this was informative and before we end this particular video i will go to the package.json file and put some command put some scripts here that will be import and this will be note c data js hyphen i and comma that will be uh, remove or delete whatever you want okay save the changes here now instead of writing node c data js dot uh, dot js dot hyphen i i can simply go and type npm run import okay. so right now since I already have the data, so I can go npm uh, remove. Oh, boom, it's gone. Uh, let me refresh it. This is gone. We have zero documents. And if I go back to uh, import statement, npm run import. So my data should be back here. There we go and this is this this should also work i can go to my uh where is it postman and 
hit send. Okay, let's see. Oh, server is not running. So npm start. There we go. Node one is running. Database is connected. Now go to Postman. Hit send, and you should get the products here. Okay. Perfect. So with this, I'm gonna end this video, and in the next video, we shall continue working on the products controller, and we'll create the rest of the models and routes as well. Okay. So till then, please. Put your comments in the comment section, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.